thank you for tuning into my channel. My name is Edrissa and today I will be showing you guys how I created this Grinch Christmas makeup look. So as always, if you want to see how I got this look here, then make sure you just keep on watching. And if you are not a subscriber as of yet, make sure you, you know, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification while you're at it. So you're notified every time your girl uploads a new video. So stay tuned for this Grinch look. So this is the Maron Sin Wax that I used to create that Grinch nose as you can see here in that clip. And I created a separate video on how I created that nose. I just um, wanted to show you guys the makeup portion of this Grinch look. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a flat brush and I'm using that to pat that green paint all over my face. And I'm just patting all over the um, the nose that I created because I didn't want it to move or mess up in any type of way because it is wax. So I was just taking my time applying it to my nose and I am going to be applying this green paint all over my face because we are doing the Grinch look today. Um, that's why you see I didn't do my eyebrows or put any makeup on as yet because everything is going to be covered by, you know, my whole face being painted green and me adding the additional makeup looks. So don't make sure you use a brush that you know you don't use for your regular makeup because this paint does really stain. So this is me after I finish applying that green paint all over my face and I'm going in with that white cream makeup and this is from a Halloween kit and I'm just going to be using that white to highlight underneath my eyes and highlight my chin area as well. I didn't want to use a different green shade because I felt like it wouldn't stand out as much. So I went in with that white to make that under eye area pop a little bit more to make it stand out more than a green will because a green would blend too much and a white will make it stand out just enough and blend with that green to make a slight lighter greenish underneath my eye area. So as you can see, I applied that to my chin area as well. And then I'm going to be taking my Real Techniques Beauty Blender and I did make sure I wet my sponge before I blend in this white and I'm just blending in those areas where I put the white makeup where I created my highlight here. And after I did apply that white makeup, I did go in and set it with my powder to keep it in place. And before I applied that under eye, I also put a setting powder all over my face. I used the Airspun setting powder all over my face to keep the makeup in place so it doesn't move around as I'm applying the rest of my makeup to my face. I'm going in with that same face palette and I'm going in with that black shade and I'm using a small detail brush and I'm going to use this brush to create my thin kind of hair like strokes with that black paint and the Grinch is you know he has the bushy sticking up eyebrows which are green but it wouldn't show on this green background which I have my green base so I just went in with black paint and tried to create these big brows using this paint and I tried to flick it up some just so they don't look so uniform and I wasn't trying to match them in any type of way I was just trying to create that shape that I wanted for those eyebrows And now I'm going in with that same makeup palette, paint palette, and I'm going in with that same detail brush, and I'm going in with the color white. And I'm trying to create some type of dimension with the brows that I created, so that's why I put the white in between so it doesn't look like a big black block on my face. 
for eyebrows so it creates like these separation to make it mimic these hairline strokes I'm going in with my black eyeshadow and this is from the take me to Brazil palette and I'm using a eyeshadow brush to apply that black eyeshadow to my face and I'm trying to create um, these lines here under my eyes and on my forehead to create kind of like a frown line like when you're frowning to make it look like you're upset or angry so that's what I was trying to create there I did make a line going down from the nose down to the top of my lip because I have a picture on the side of me of the bridge and I kept looking at that picture as a reference trying to recreate the look on my face so I'm going to continue going in with that black eyeshadow for the take me to Brazil palette and I'm trying to create the lines that looks like um, wrinkles or look like frowning on the Grinch so I'm trying to create these lines and as you can see I keep looking over to my reference photo of the Grinch so I can try to mimic it as much as possible and I'm just bringing that line not all the way down to my chin but about the halfway mark around to where I get to the bottom of my lip and as you can see that top that first line I did not bring it all the way down because I thought that it would be too close to the second line that I'm creating now so I just left that first line just like that just extending that first line just a little slightly and like I said I didn't extend that first line all the way down but I am going to draw an extension of that line going around the um, the other line the second line that I created on the outer part of the cheek area because I wanted it to um, to be more wrinkles and make it look like more frown lines so I created that second line there and I'm trying to figure it out as I go along that's why I am keep stopping so I can try to see how can I use the makeup to try to mimic the picture just as much as possible and I am um, just the middle of each of these lines that I created going down the longer lines I'm trying to thicken up the middle part of the lines to make it just a little bit thicker just that part in the middle and then have the ends kind of tapered off into a thinner line so it can look like a frown basically and I hope I'm explaining this the right way because it's kind of hard to explain kind of what I'm trying to do and I'm just trying to put it into words what I was thinking while I was making creating this makeup look you can make that line as thick as you want or as thin as you want or you can keep it just as I did I did want the lines to stand out a lot so I did use the black eyeliner I'm sorry excuse me the black eyeshadow to create these lines So for that same paint palette, I'm going in with that white shade and I'm using my small detailed liner brush and I'm going to be outlining just the outside of those lines that I created. Um, and the reason why I put the lines on the outside because I thought that it would make the, um, the lines kind of stand out more if I was to put a, the white behind it to make it um, looked like it was kind of like off of my face and not rather than me painting my face kind of like a 3d effect I was trying to create with that white just to make that black stand out a little bit more so it doesn't look like a plain black line that I'm drawing on my face so that's why I'm outlining the black lines on the outside only with that white face paint So 
So that line that I created here, I was trying to create a frown line and I'm just underlining that black shade and I'm trying to make that black shade stand out more without me shading it in all together and trying to create some type of dimension or just make it stand out more without shading the black more to make it look just like a plain line. I want it to be a faded line, but you can see that there's a line there, but without it being so harsh. I was trying to like make it a little bit um, less noticeable. I did color on that the tip of my nose with that pink shade, and now I'm going with this mauve shade, which is like a kind of like a a nudish pink. I'm going to be outlining my lip with that and a little bit overlining my lips, and then I'm going to be going over that bottom lip only with my pink lip gloss. And I'm just outlining this, not outlining, I'm just going over the bottom lip only because the top lip is green and I didn't want to mix these shades together. So only the bottom lip I wanted to be pink. So that's why I put the pink over the bottom lip only. And I didn't include the clip, but I did go off camera when I finished this look and I did apply some of my dramatic long black lashes to this look just to give it a little glam you can still see that I'm a female even though I applied this makeup but I like to just make it stand out a little bit more just to look like a girl Grinch so that's why I went in af after off camera and applied my black long dramatic lashes to top this look off so this is the finished product of my Grinch look as you can see, I applied the lashes, I put the hat on, and I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and smash that red right button. You're a monster, Mr. Grinch. Your heart's an empty hole. Go check out my other videos. Bye.